Okay, here we are preparing for our climb to Denali in Alaska. You can see over in my doughboy suit, I got a puppy snoozing. So I get a lot of questions about gear. So I kind of wanted to give a quick tour. This will also allow me to uh, make sure I didn't forget anything. Of course, all my mountain trips start off with my hat. Over 30 some years old, and I got that gem in Peru, the Huascaran Mountains in Peru. It's been very lucky for me, so it will go to Denali. Okay, we got a pants, we got fleece there, the black, long johns, undies. That, and then socks. Okay, and then we have a couple under layers. And then of course, on top of that, I've got a down jacket and then the big doughboy suit for Summit. We have two sleeping pads. This one, because we're on the glacier for 21 days, 20 days, we use that pad first. Then this is an inflatable pad that will go on top of that. That'll prov This provides a double insulation so that the inflatable pad does not get wet. That's the hope. Sleeping bag, we have an extra filled sleeping bag that I've tested on Aconcagua, the highest peak in South America, and it did well. Now Denali's notorious for being very cold, so we'll hope that'll be enough. What else do we have over here? Okay, we have these mitts. These are incredible mitts. And they have an inner liner that comes out, a down liner. They're very warm. I have a 95 liter bag, backpack. It should be enough for some of my gear. And then I have a 130 liter duffel where the remainder of the gear will go in. As we're climbing in the first part of the journey, I will have between 120 to 130 pounds of weight. So, thus two bags. The good news is one of them will be in a sled, so it's not gonna all be on my back. Okay, we got some MSR snowshoes, rope that we'll be crafting into various items on the mountain leashes, etc. A ice axe. I think that's a 65 centimeter. They're a little shorter because it'll be steep in places. A dop kit, personals, some 70, sunscreen. The sun's very, very intense up there. So I wanna keep that sun off of my skin as much as possible. A thermos for a hottie on the way up. Very important is my harness with locking carabiners and leashes. I'll have that around my waist and then that will be secured to vines along the mountain that will act as uh, protection. Very important, also crampons. These are 12 point black diamond crampons. I've used them. They're tried and true. They're relatively old, so I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of grief on the mountain for using them, but that's what I'm bringing. A helmet for safety factors, any falling debris. 
goggles. We could have temperatures as low as 30, 40 below. So those two device, those two things there are uh, insulators for my water bottles. I'll have at least two liters of water. And last but not least are my La Sportiva boots. These boots are called triples. They have an inner booty, a mid boot, and then an outer gator all in one. So it kind of simplifies the process of getting ready and getting out, uh, which you want to do at that level, at that high elevation, because even the most routine tasks can be extremely taxing. Okay, that's about all the gear I got. We'll also have one lightweight uh, jacket for blocking the wind. It looks like my puppy's digging in. And Bella, no digging. So, there you have it, my gear. And I'd like to say a big shout out to Active Endeavors and Matt for helping me put together a lot of this gear. Some of it most recently, and then over the last years, the rest of it. They are a great asset to our community, and it's been wonderful working with their very talented staff. Have a great day, and... Pray for us on Denali, leaving May 12th, returning early June. Bye-bye.